Chapter thirty three of the Book of Jasher. And in some time after Jacob went away from the borders of the land, and he came to the land of Shalem, that is the city of Shechem, which is in the land of Canaan, and he rested in front of the city. And he bought a parcel of the field which was there from the children of Hamor, the people of the land, for five shekels. And Jacob there built himself a house, and he pitched his tent there, and he made booths for his cattle, and therefore he called the name of the place Sukoth. And Jacob remained in Sukoth a year and six months. At that time some of the women of the inhabitants of the land went to the city of Shechem to dance and rejoice with the daughters of the people of the city. And when they went forth, then Rachel and Leah, the wives of Jacob with their families, also went to behold the rejoicing of the daughters of the city. And Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, also went along with them, and saw the daughters of the city. And they remained there before these daughters, whilst all the people of the city were standing by them, to behold their rejoicings. And all the great people of the city were there. And Shechem, the son of Hamor, the prince of the land, was also standing there to see them. And Shechem beheld Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, sitting with her mother before the daughters of the city, and the damsel pleased him greatly. And he there asked his friends and his people, saying, Whose daughter is that sitting amongst the women, whom I do not know in this city? And they said unto him, Surely this is the daughter of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the Hebrew, who has dwelt in this city for some time. And when it was reported that the daughters of the land were going forth to rejoice, she went with her mother and maid servants to sit amongst them as thou seest. And Shechem beheld Dinah, the daughter of Jacob, and when he looked at her, his soul became fixed upon Dinah. And he sent and had her taken by force. And Dinah came to the house of Shechem, and he seized her forcibly and lay with her and humbled her. And he loved her exceedingly and placed her in his house. And they came and told the thing unto Jacob. And when Jacob heard that Shechem had defiled his daughter Dinah, Jacob sent twelve of his servants to fetch Dinah from the house of Shechem. And they went and came to the house of Shechem to take away Dinah from there. And when they came, Shechem went out to them with his men and drove them from his house, and he would not suffer them to come before Dinah. But Shechem was sitting with Dinah, kissing and embracing her before their eyes. And the servants of Jacob came back and told him, saying, When we came, he and his men drove us away, and thus did Shechem do unto Dinah before our eyes. And Jacob knew moreover that Shechem had defiled his daughter, but he said nothing, and his sons were feeding his cattle in the field, and Jacob remained silent till their return. And before his sons came home, Jacob sent two maidens from his servants' daughters to take care of Dinah in the house of Shechem, to remain with her. And Shechem sent three of his friends to his father Hamor, the son of Chidakem, the son of Perid, saying, Get me this damsel for a wife. And Hamor, the son of Chidakem, the Hivite, came to the house of Shechem his son, and he sat before him. And Hamor said unto his son Shechem, Is there then no woman amongst the daughters of thy people that thou wilt take an Hebrew woman who is not of thy people? And Shechem said to him, her only must thou get for me, for she is delightful in my sight. And Hamor did according to the word of his son, for he was greatly beloved by him. And Hamor went forth to Jacob to commune with him concerning this matter. And when he had gone from the house of his son Shechem, before he came to Jacob to speak unto him, behold, the sons of Jacob had come from the field, as soon as they heard the thing that Shechem the son of Hamor had done. And the men were very much grieved concerning their sister, and they all came home fired with anger, before the time of gathering in their cattle. And they came and sat before their father, and they spoke unto him kindled with wrath, saying, Surely death is due to this man and to his household, because the Lord God of the whole earth commanded Noah and his children that man shall never rob nor commit adultery. Now behold, Shechem has both ravaged and committed fornication with our sister, and not one of all the people of the city spoke a word to him. Surely thou knowest and understandest that the judgment of death is due to Shechem and to his father and to the whole city on account of the thing which he has done. And whilst they were speaking before their father in this matter, behold, Hamor, the father of Shechem, came to speak to Jacob the words of his son concerning Dinah. And he sat before Jacob and before his sons. And Hamor spoke unto him, saying, The soul of my son Shechem longeth for your daughter. I pray you give her unto him for a wife, and intermarry with us. 
; give us your daughters and we will give you our daughters, and you shall dwell with us in our land, and we will be as one people in the land ; for the land is very extensive, so dwell ye and trade therein, and get possessions in it, and do therein as you desire, and no one shall prevent you by saying a word to you. 12. And Hamor ceased speaking unto Jacob and his sons, and behold Shechem his son had come after him, and he sat before them. 13. And Shechem spoke before Jacob and his sons, saying, may I find favor in your sight that you will give me your daughter, and whatever you say unto me, that will I do for her. Ask me for abundance of dowry and gift, and I will give it. And whatever you shall say unto me, that will I do, and whoever he be that will rebel against your orders, he shall die. Only give me the damsel for a wife. And Simeon and Levi answered Hamor and Shechem his son deceitfully, saying, All you have spoken unto us we will do for you. And behold, our sister is in your house, but keep away from her until we send to our father Isaac concerning this matter, for we can do nothing without his consent. For he knoweth the ways of our father Abraham, and whatever he saith unto us we will tell you, we will conceal nothing from you. And Simeon and Levi spoke this unto Shechem and his father in order to find a pretext and to seek counsel what has to be done to Shechem and to his city in this matter. And when Shechem and his father heard the words of Simeon and Levi, it seemed good in their sight, and Shechem and his father came forth to go home. And when they had gone, the sons of Jacob said unto their father, saying, Behold, we know that death is due to these wicked ones and to their city, because they transgressed that which God had commanded unto Noah and his children and his seed after them. And also because Shechem did this thing to our sister Dinah in defiling her, for such vileness shall never be done amongst us. Now therefore know and see what you will do, and seek counsel and pretext what is to be done to them in order to kill all the inhabitants of this city. And Simeon said to them, Here is a proper advice for you. Tell them to circumcise every male amongst them as we are circumcised. And if they do not wish to do this, we shall take our daughter from them and go away. And if they consent to do this, and will do it, then when they are sunk down with pain, we will attack them with our swords, as upon one who is quiet and peaceable, and we will slay every male person amongst them. And Simeon's advice pleased them, and Simeon and Levi resolved to do unto them as it was proposed. And on the next morning Shechem and Hamar his father came again unto Jacob and his sons to speak concerning Dinah, and to hear what answer the sons of Jacob would give to their words. And the sons of Jacob spoke deceitfully to them, saying, We told our father Isaac all your words, and your words pleased him. But he spoke unto us, saying, Thus did Abraham his father command him from God the Lord of the whole earth, that any man who is not of his descendants that should wish to take one of his daughters shall cause every male belonging to him to be circumcised as we are circumcised, and then we may give him our daughter for a wife. Now we have made known to you all our ways that our father spoke unto us, for we cannot do this of which you spoke unto us to give our daughter to an uncircumcised man, for it is a disgrace to us. But herein we will consent to you to give you our daughter, and we will also take unto ourselves your daughters, and will dwell amongst you and be one people as you have spoken, if you will hearken to us and consent to be like us, to circumcise every male belonging to you as we are circumcised. And if you will not hearken unto us to have every male circumcised as we are circumcised, as we have commanded, then we will come to you and take our daughter from you and go away. And Shechem and his father Hamor heard the words of the sons of Jacob, and the thing pleased them exceedingly. And Shechem and his father Hamor hastened to do the wishes of the sons of Jacob, for Shechem was very fond of Dinah, and his soul was riveted to her. And Shechem and his father Hamor hastened to the gate of the city, and they assembled all the men of their city and spoke unto them the words of the sons of Jacob, saying, we came to these men, the sons of Jacob, and we spoke unto them concerning their daughter. And these men will consent to do according to our wishes, and behold, our land is of a great extent for them, and they will dwell in it and trade in it, and we shall be one people. We will take their daughters, and our daughters we will give unto them for wives. But only on this condition will these men consent to do this thing, that every male amongst us be circumcised as they are circumcised 
as their god commanded them and when we shall have done according to their instructions to be circumcised then will they dwell amongst us together with their cattle and possessions and we shall be as one people with them and when all the men of the city heard the words of shechem and his father hamor then all the men of their city were agreeable to this proposal and they obeyed to be circumcised for shechem and his father hamor were greatly esteemed by them being the princes of the land and on the next day shechem and hamor's father rose up early in the morning and they assembled all the men of their city into the middle of the city and they called for the sons of jacob who circumcised every male belonging to them on that day and the next and they circumcised shechem and hamor's father and the five brothers of shechem and then every one rose up and went home for this thing was from the lord against the city of shechem and from the lord was simeon's counsel in this matter in order that the lord might deliver the city of shechem into the hands of jacob's two sons End of chapter thirty three